Finally tonight, the date that will live in infamy is approaching 80 years this Tuesday. The Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor marked America's entry into World War II. Joy Benedict of our Los Angeles station, KCBS, met a group of veterans who made the trip to Hawaii to remember in hopes that we don't forget their sacrifice. It was a heartfelt moment etched in patriotism. As this airport's baggage claim transformed into a stage of honor for seven World War II veterans about to cross the Pacific and remember those who never made it home. It means so much, especially at the last years of of my life. Bryce Jordan was a pilot in the U.S. Army Air Corps. At 97, he is one of dozens of World War II veterans making the trip to Hawaii this weekend for the 80th remembrance ceremony of the bombing of Pearl Harbor. After 80 years, most making the trip weren't in service when the bombing took place. They enlisted because of it. It was shocking because we didn't even know that there was a problem with Japan at that time. It was December 7, 1941. 2,403 service members and civilians died that day. As soon as the war started, people vol volunteered. Everyone was ready to go. And as the members of the greatest generation get smaller in number every year, these men hope their stories will be retold so that younger Americans never forget. These veterans will spend four nights and five days there on Oahu, not only going to that ceremony on Tuesday, but seeing the sights. I think it's wonderful. This as old veterans get a chance to do that. One more memory, one more moment for a generation that won the war and changed the world, but is losing to time. Joy Benedict, CBS News, Orange County, California. And it is important to honor our veterans every day.